Hello, welcome here. A few weeks ago on this channel, I released a video talking about how did I overheat the battery on this specific car, which is a Tesla Model 3 2021 with LG battery. Now, it turns out that uh, actually the battery was not overheated as such, but more so that uh, the, the battery management system limited the charging power during that uh, charging session. So today in this video, I'm going to explain what actually really happened during that uh, charging session. Before we continue, if you're new to this channel, please consider giving me a like and uh, subscribe to the channel. That will motivate me to upload even more interesting material. Let's get into it. What I have here on the screen are three different charging sessions. The one in Timisoara is the one where I experienced uh, this, uh, let's say, uh, severe power limit. Then um, I had one that uh, I had in, in Sibiu just because the starting uh, state of charge is uh, relatively close to the one in Timisoara. And then on the right side there is a, there is a session I had, uh, I recorded in Bucharest uh, where you can see actually the outside temperature is very close to the one in, uh, in Timisoara. All these three different charging sessions are also recorded separately on my channel and I will put a link uh, below. But uh, I, will play, I will play these sessions um, uh, fast forwarding and it will play for about seven minutes. Uh, and there are a few key numbers that you should pay attention to. First of all is the battery power, uh, is the one uh, in the middle on the top. Um, then is the state of charge. And uh, obviously Sibiu and uh, Bucharest will start a little bit later when the state of charge will be the the same or similar to the one in Timisoara for a fair comparison and then there are a few numbers to also look into when it comes to let's say the temperature or how the battery or how the car was cooling the battery uh, the outside temperature that will not change too much uh, during the sessions but then is the battery inlet which is the temperature of the flow that goes into the battery then is the cell temp mid, which is the temperature of the uh, battery pack. And then is the battery flow, which will give us an indication of uh, how much or how hard the, the car was trying to cool down the battery. Thank you. 
difficult numbers to watch, right? So for that reason, I put these numbers into, into this graph. And you'll see CBU is missing just because I noticed that uh, CBU session after the initial warming up of the battery it's very much comparable with uh, Bucharest uh, session. So that's why I will just keep Bucharest as a, as a reference uh, session. In this chart, you will figure a few, uh, let's say, key numbers. First of all, uh, everything that is uh, with red refers to the Timisoara session. So the one where I experienced the, the severe uh, charging limitation, charge speed limitation, and uh, Bucharest, which is the reference one, which is in blue. And then you'll figure, you'll notice few key numbers. You'll notice the state of charge in percentage as a number uh, is linked to every single uh, dot. You will see that on the bottom, it's uh, minutes within the, the charging session. And uh, the hard line is the charging power. The uh, interrupted line is the temperature in the battery pack. Then uh, the dotted line is the temperature of the inlet uh, um, uh, flow into the battery and the, the bars on the bottom are the flow in the battery pack that will give us an indication of how much the, the, the car was trying to cool down uh, or not. What you'll notice is an initial drop in the charging power which is kind of normal uh, maybe a little bit more than, than usual uh, just maybe because of the temperature around you'll see that the red will, will get very close to the blue line and then there is, an, there is a, 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 an additional drop. And uh, then the second drop is the one that I was, I was wondering, why is this really happening? You know, when I was recording the charging sessions on the Scan My Tesla uh, phone, I also had the, the sound on. And uh, I actually noticed that I was enter exiting and entering the car multiple times. And uh, I add that one here on the graph. And this is how it looks like. So I was recording initially in the car, talking a little bit about that uh, uh, cool uh, charging speed that I was getting. Uh, then I exited the car, and then you can see when I exited the car, you can see that the, the, the car was managing to cool down the battery uh, even better. You can see the, the, the temperature of the coolant going into the battery was, was uh, much lower. Uh, and then the charging uh, uh, speed started to, let's say, or at least the drop started to slow down. And then probably if I would have continued like that, the, um, uh, it would meet the, 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 the reference, which, uh, which was the, the Bucharest uh, charging power. But then what I did, I come back to the car. I think I took some stuff from the car. And then I thought it's a smart idea to keep the climate on. I said, why not? Is this cool functionality from, uh, from Tesla? However, that seems to have killed the, the entire um, charging session. You can see how the, this uh, uh, dotted line, uh, the temperature of the uh, inlet flow, how it was rising sharply. And then the, tar the, the car was trying to compensate that uh, let's say inefficiency in the heating by actually limiting the power uh, 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 of the of the charging. You can actually actually see that at some point probably the the let's say the BMS was more or less uh, giving up. You can see the the battery flow was also uh, slowing down just because the difference between the the flows was not that big. But also the car was trying to cool down the cabin. And uh, what is interesting is here all the way to the end, but I didn't wait it. Is that you can see the power uh, was actually slightly rising so I think the car got to a level where um, let's say a balance was achieved maybe the cabin was already cooled down uh, so then it could it could start uh, cooling down a little bit more uh, the battery I find this interesting um, I was not aware of so maybe it's not good to you know uh, come back and uh, uh, get out of the car uh, on and off uh, uh, air condition because that will that will bring an imbalance uh, into the cooling of the car I'm not sure if this is specific to this car because of the uh, heat pump Maybe they share some uh, some aspects in terms in terms of cooling as well. I'm not aware of that um, Another aspect that would be interesting to mention here is that um, during a recent visit to uh, Tesla service 
They actually mentioned that uh, this car, being one of the early models of 2021 uh, released with a heat pump, it had a recall on, um, on all the cooling system and they had to change uh, three different uh, sensors uh, related to, to, the, to the cooling and they actually refill all the, all the cool, uh, coolant um, uh, and um, yeah, the gas on, 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 on the system. So I'm not sure they are related, but it could be, and it's something I will I will have to, let's say, keep an eye on uh, next time. Um, yeah, again on Timisoara, I wanted to achieve, um, let's say, a record high speed uh, charging power, and I did. And I wanted to see also uh, a record fast charging speed, which I failed, uh, just because okay, it was warm, it was hot, and I thought uh, I will I will I will keep on getting good speed. But the car couldn't keep up with the with the cooling so that's something i would have to let's say try once again let's see if tesla will also release another software update in the meantime that might also raise a little bit the the power i will share uh, this file also on uh, on a google drive um, i thought it would be uh, something good uh, good uh, for you to know uh, don't hop in and hop off uh, during uh, during charging especially if it's really hot outside and if you are on a v3 supercharger that was it for today please remember to give me a like and subscribe if you find my uh, materials interesting